finding the domain and range using inverse functions. We might see some functions with hard to find domains or ranges. In this case, we might be able to use that function's inverse. Given the function f of x equals x plus 2 all over x minus 3, I can more quickly find the domain than the range. The numerator looks like a transformation of the identity function, so it will not contribute to any domain restrictions. I know, though, that the denominator is not allowed to be 0. This means that x minus 3 cannot be 0, so x cannot be 3. The domain is all real numbers except 3. I cannot quickly see the range given the information we have so far. Since an inverse function switches the inputs and outputs from the original function, the domain of f inverse of x will be the range of f of x. I now need to find the inverse function of f of x. Using the same techniques from the finding an inverse video, I replace the function notation with a variable y, switch the inputs and outputs, then solve for y. After this, I see that f inverse of x is 2 plus 3x all over x minus 1. The domain of f inverse is all real numbers except 1. This is also the range of f of x. You can now use the domain of an inverse to find the range of the original function. You could also use this skill to find a function value given either the inverse or the original function.